Okay, this one's an interesting one. I'm not sure how I'm going to make this one. Oh, stupid Conicum and all the stop sliding around. Silliness of the Conica Minolta brand. Fucking idiots. Fucking money fuckers. They don't care about the fucking product or the customer in the end. They just care about their own selfish money fucking. Got no respect for money fuckers. They can go fuck themselves. They can go root themselves. They can go bloody fat, 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 fat. If you know what I mean. Yes, you better know it. Fuck you, rich people. Fuck you, stupid Konica Minolta, asshole. Mr. CEO of Konica Minolta, the biggest money fucker in the whole Konica Minolta business. Fucking asshole. <laughs> I don't like him. I don't like you, fucking bitch. I don't like the way you make things less workable than what they should be. I've got no fucking respect for these bitches. They can go fuck themselves. Right, so this one's going to be a green original. We're going to make this one green. Nice emerald green, which I really love. I love emerald green. Okay. Ooh, we need this saturation. I nearly forgot. Right, I'm just going to go okay and close. So this is going to be... All right, what have we got? We're just going to... Uh, we're going to get this. This is a... Tic Tac box, an old Tic Tac box from, yeah, Tic Tac. So we're just putting it on the glass like so. So we just line up the top of it and we're going to get a piece of paper for it. So I'm just going to get a blank sheet of scrap paper to put behind it. I don't feel good about putting the document feeder down. It could break the glass. Well, maybe I'm being paranoid, but we're just going to leave it open with the with the um, paper to use as a backdrop. This machine's got a squeak. I think it's the scanner. The scanner sounds like it's starting to squeak, which is really annoying when you consider this machine's only about five weeks old, or well, five weeks since I got it. And I don't think I've, I've maxed out the duty cycle. I'm way under, I think I'm way under the duty cycle of this machine I don't know how many copies per month it's capable of or designed for but anyway that looks interesting it looks like it fits nicely there we're just gonna slide it across a little bit away from the edge to center it so that looks like a nice fit so we're now just going to remove the paper and we're just going to make a little bit of a a little bit away from the edge so it will be nicely centered so I'm wondering which side is closest to the edge. So we're just going to slip it across just a little. That should be enough. I'm just going to gently lay the paper off. If I use a dock feeder, it'll probably slip and slide. So I'm just going to gently drop that on top. Actually stuff the dock feeder. I keep putting it down as if I'm going to use it. But a lot of my things need the dock feeder anyway. Most things a lot. Oh, what have I done? I fat fingered the finish button. Stupid Clonic and Minolta and its three-step photocopy process. Talk about legendarily stupid. And the CEO's a fucking idiot who loves money. He doesn't care about the product, really. He couldn't give a fuck. He just couldn't give a fuck. Now, I think we've, we've moved it too far across. Well, it's hard to tell. It's a funny-looking container. But anyway, we're just going to go back and slide it across a little bit back where it was a bit closer to where it was because we are a bit too far away it's very hard to get this to be as exact as I'd like it to be so I think just that little smidge will probably be the right amount I'm hoping so we just put drop the paper over the top and just hit the start key yeah hear that that would have been the scanner that sounds like the scanner is already squeaking for some fucking reason. Okay, let's see how this goes. All right, let's have a look. That looks better. Actually, I do think that's a lot better. It's not perfect, but I think we could call that one quits. 